Hi everyone, another New Zealand story. I'm not sure how many more I've got, but they still keep coming out. We're going on a moa hunt. Now I think you might remember the story from um, Canada or America. We're going on a bear hunt. Well this one's a moa. We're going on a moa hunt. And it's written by, well it's, it's a retelling, it's illustrated by Patrick MacDonald. Actually, it's a puffin book, so it doesn't actually tell you who wrote it, but let's enjoy it anyway. Okay, we're going on a moa hunt, so let's have a look. I'm pretty sure you can tell where this scene comes from. It's pretty hard to show you the whole page at once, but anyway, there we go. We'll do our best. I might turn the light off from behind me. Let's see if that's any better. I think it will be. Okay. I'll move the camera back just a little bit because this is a really big book, so I need a bit more space. We're going on a mower hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. So there's the picture there. Well, that's the house, and they're off away on the hills. Still a bit of reflection. Another light off and see if that helps. Okay. Uh-oh, a wide paddock. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Swish, swish, rustle, rustle, swish, swish. That far enough to see the picture? There we are. That's better. We're going on a mower hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Uh-oh. Scorching, sizzling sands. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We'll have to go over it. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh. I know that feeling from walking on the hot sand. Wow. We're going on a mower hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a sucky, mucky swamp. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Slurp, slush, suck, squelf, slurble. Oh, cool words. Slurble. I like the words. We're going on a mower hunt, we're not scared. We're going to catch a big one, we're not scared. Uh-oh, a rocky river. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Splosh, splash, splish, splash, splosh. And you've seen that one, there they go. Through the rocky river. We're going on a mower hunt, we're not scared. I'm going to catch a big one, we're not scared. Uh-oh, a tangly forest. We can't go over it, we can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Crack, creak, snap. It's a New Zealand forest. Oh, there we've got a tui. How cool is that? I wonder if you can spot the New Zealand natives in the pictures. We're going on a mower hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a snowy mountain. We can't go under it. We can't go through it. We'll have to go over it. Crunch, crunch, scrunch, crunch. Oh, I think that might have one of our native birds in it there. I'd love to hear back from some of you to tell me what birds and things you're seeing in the pictures. Oh, there's not just a bird in there either. There's something else. Woo! What's this one? We're going on a mower hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a dark, dripping cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Shuffle, drip, drip, drip. Oh, I can see something there too, in the torchlight, and I wonder what those sparkly things are there. If you've ever been in a cave, you might know what they are. 
Waitomo in New Zealand's famous caves. I haven't been there, but I've been to the ones down in town now, and they're beautiful. Here we go. We're going on a moa hunt. We're not scared. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a slidey, slippery slope. Ah! Oh, I know what that is too. That's called a shingle slide. That's caused because of all the deer and the tar and the other animals, the goats and things that live up in the mountains. They eat all the grass off the top and tussocks and the snow breaks down everything and it turns it into shingle. Hey, what's that? We can't go over it. We can't go through it. Hmm, what is it? Let's have a look at the whole page. Ooh, I think you know what that might be. It's a mower! It's not big, it's huge! Run! <laughs> oh, look at his feet. Here we go. Up the slippery slope. Ah! Through the dark dripping cave. Shuffle, drip, drip, drip. Over the snowy mountain. Crunch, 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 crunch. Through the tangly forest. Snip, crackle, snip. Where's next? Where do they go next? Over the page. Through the rocky river. Splosh, splash, splish, splash, splosh. Through the sucky mucky swamp. Slurp, slush, suck, squelch, slurble. Over the scorching, sizzling sand. Oh, ow, ow, oh, ow. Through the wide paddock. Swish, swish, rustle, rustle, swish, swish. And home. Phew. Do you really think they saw a mower? Hmm. There he goes. Well, maybe somebody could find out about the mower. It's a pretty special story and very sad too, really. Love to hear back from you. Hope you've enjoyed that story. Okay, now for the next story from the Bible. This one is The Last Supper, and it's from John 13, 1 to 15, Matthew, or Matthew 26, chapter 26, verse 26 to 30. When the Passover meal was ready, Jesus and his disciples reclined at the table. Jesus knew his time on earth was almost over and he would soon return to the Father in heaven. Jesus got up from the table, laid aside his outer robe and wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he, be, then he poured water into a basin and began washing his disciples' feet. In the Bible times, a servant would wash somebody's feet when he entered the house. Jesus, the King of Kings was doing what a servant would do. Peter did not want Jesus to wash his feet. You will never wash my feet, ever, Peter said. Jesus replied, If I don't wash your feet, you have no part with me. Peter said, Lord, not only my feet, but my hands and my head. Jesus told Peter that one who has bathed only needs to wash his feet because he is already clean. Jesus wasn't talking about physical cleanliness. He was talking about someone who has been forgiven of his sins by repenting and trusting in Jesus. And here's a picture of Jesus there. And in that one, he's got the bread. What did the Passover meal celebrate? I wonder if you can remember. I talked a little bit about it before I started the stories. How does that help you understand the Last Supper? Maybe talk to your mums and dads. A Christian should repent when he sins, but he only needs to receive salvation once. When Jesus had washed his disciples' feet and put on his robe, he reclined at the table and said, Do you understand what I have done? You call me teacher and Lord. I have given you an example to follow. You should wash one another's feet. Jesus was telling the disciples to serve one another. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it and broke it, and gave it to the disciples. Jesus said, Take and eat. This is my body. 
Then he took a cup and gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, All of you drink from this. This is my blood of the covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. After supper, Jesus and his disciples sang psalms and went to the Mount of Olives. At the Passover, Jesus shared his last meal with the disciples before his death and resurrection. Jesus said that his death would establish a new covenant. God's people had broken the old covenant. Those were all the rules and laws that God had made. And God promised to make a new covenant to forgive sins. God forgives the sins of those who trust in his son, Jesus. And here's the picture of the Passover meal with Jesus and his 12 disciples. They're not all in the picture there. I wonder if anybody can tell me what the names of all the disciples are. Now, there's a wee challenge for you. So, when we learn about Jesus and we want to follow him, we need to follow his, his example, which is being a servant to others and, and forgiving one another and always asking God for forgiveness when we do something wrong. I hope you can perhaps go and do something to serve mum and dad or a brother or sister or grandmother, whoever's living with you. Okay, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the stories tonight. See you again. Bye.